The shimming ones are, are a bit interesting because they're not, um, they're more expensive right, right now because the technology involved and you're right. It's like a paper thin, literally like a paper thin card that goes in between the reader. And, um, when you stick your card in, it basically taps off the card. Now on the good side of it, um, the chip cards still are more, uh, secure. Mm-hmm. They can't replicate the actual chip card itself with okay. the encryption items and everything else. So basically what they can do is they can, they can replicate a card that they can use in swipe machines. Hmm. They still can't use it for, they can't use it for tap and they can't use it for, um, you know, chip card payments, but they can use it at any place that has a swipe area. So the chip still gives you uh, an extra layer of a, an extra layer of security. Uh, these are tough. Um, the, there was a, a one, um, and, and kudos to him in, in, in one of the, in one of the articles on this, there was an owner who went, who does a regular routine check on his, on his point of sale machines. And they have a, um, a test card that they put in. And the first thing that he noticed with the test card, uh, was really difficult. Like it was, he actually had to put quite a bit of force, mm. more force than normal to, to actually slide into the machine. Mm-hmm. And that's what tipped him off that something might be wrong. And when he, and, and again, these are, these are difficult things to actually see because you, you're, you'd probably have to shine a light actually right into the slot to actually see it. He actually took the, he had to take the machine apart to actually find it. Wow. Um, and then when he found it, he was like, Whoa, what's going on? And he took the other machines apart and found, you know, and found the other ones. But um, the, the biggest telltale sign there on looking for that one is if, if, if the card has a, as a, a larger force than normal to actually put into the machine. 